Hey there, I'm Lara, and this is my consistent talking AI avatar, created using just one image and some clever prompts. She talks, moves, and shows up for me every time I need her. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can make your own, an avatar that moves, speaks, and represents your brand every single time. I can talk, move, gesture, and deliver your message like a pro, all day, every day. Zoom meetings, YouTube videos, brand intros, I've got it covered. And I never need a retake. <laughs> yep, even talking animals are on the table. I'm cute and convincing. If you're ready to create a talking AI avatar that moves, speaks, and represents your brand, stick with me. I'll walk you through every step. Let me be real with you for a second. I never wanted to be on camera, but I also didn't want to hide behind a blank screen forever. I wanted something that felt personal, professional, and consistent, without me needing to show up in full glam every single time. That's where talking AI avatars changed everything for me. Whether you're starting a YouTube channel, launching a digital course, or just want a virtual face for your brand, this is one of the easiest ways to stand out and stay behind the scenes. And the best part? You don't need to be tech savvy to pull this off. So if you're camera shy, short on time, or just love the idea of working smarter, you're in the right place. Let me show you exactly how to create your own talking AI avatar, step by step. I'll break it all down into six simple steps. Step one, create your avatar image. Step two, animate your avatar. Step three, extend avatar animation. Step four, join clips together. Step five, add voiceover. Step six, sync voice to animation. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have your own animated camera ready avatar Perfect for YouTube, TikTok, Reels, presentations, even online courses. Let's get started. I already have my avatar image that I created in Mid Journey downloaded. I have her on a white background so that I can be able to use her in different scenes while her look remains consistent, including her outfit. You can create images for free on Leonardo and Piclumen. Now, head over to OpenArt. We're going to be using OpenArt. It's super beginner friendly, and the coolest part? You only need one good image to create your animated avatar. Log in and click on Generate Image. I'm going to be uploading my image right here in Omni Reference. The key here is consistency, and using a reference image ensures your avatar doesn't suddenly look different in every scene. Under Model or Character Selection, I'm going to select Flux Context Pro. Compared to other models, I found that it gives me smoother results for facial features and animation. It's subtle, but it makes a big difference when your avatar starts moving. We're also going to set our output size to 16 by 9 for YouTube. I suggest you select two image generations to give yourself two options to choose from. Once the image is ready, we'll need to upscale it to a higher resolution. But here is the thing. If you pick the wrong upscale option, your avatar might end up looking a bit off. And we want to keep the face consistent in all our scenes. So I recommend using the two times upscale, not the face enhancement one, as it can sometimes mess with details, especially if you're animating. And that's it. This is the image we'll animate. Clean, expressive, and consistent to the one I uploaded. If this video is helping you out so far, please go ahead and hit the like button. And if you're into AI tutorials like this, consider subscribing so you don't miss what's coming next. Without wasting any time, let's move on to turning this image into a moving, talking avatar. While we are here, Click on Use This Image. It will take you to the Video tab. As you can see, the image is already loaded here as the starting frame. I'm going to select the model for my animation. There are various ones to choose from, 
but I will go with cling to. I like it for my animations as it creates smoother movement when the avatar talks, waves or walks. Now let's talk prompts. This is where your avatar's personality comes through. Here's my prompt for the first scene. 3D Pixar style black woman looking in front at the camera and talking smoothly. She makes gentle, natural, slow hand gestures and starts to walk slowly. It's important to mention the words gentle or smooth, otherwise your avatar might move too fast or in a very unnatural way. On settings, set your video duration. I'll go with five seconds and have the quality mode on standard. I find that I don't really need to use pro and definitely not master. There's no need to use so many credits. And don't forget the negative prompt. This tells the AI what you don't want, like weird hands, morphing or distortion. Click create. Once the video is ready, you can preview it. And wow, it's always so satisfying to see her come to life. Now, I want to extend this clip. But here's something that trips most people up when creating animated avatars. How do you keep your character looking exactly the same across different scenes? You know, same hairstyle, same outfit, same face, not almost the same, but exactly the same. This scene you're watching right now, it only works because of a little trick called final frame extraction. After generating the first animated clip, which ends while she's walking, I head over to a site called Final Frame, but you can use any Final Frame extraction website of your choice, or even do a screenshot. This lets me extract the very last frame of that video as a still image. That final image then becomes my new reference, so the next animation doesn't just look like her, it is her. Same angle, same lighting, same pose, no guesswork. Upload the clip you just animated, let it process, then choose the very last frame. Click to download that frame. Go back into Open Art and create a new animation using this image. Go to the Video Generation tab again, upload your image, select your model, Kling 2.1 in this case, type in your prompt. Here's my prompt. Tracking shot of a 3D Pixar style black woman. She is walking slowly and turns slightly toward a desk, reaching out and picking up a coffee mug with one hand, continues to talk while gently taking a sip, then glancing back at the camera with a confident, warm expression. Cinematic style, smooth and natural body movement. I'm gonna set the video generation to 10 seconds to give the avatar time to move. Place negative prompts and click create. All this is what keeps everything consistent. Instead of starting from scratch, we're building scene by scene, frame by frame. So your avatar never glitches, changes faces, or loses the vibe. Now that she's walking, talking, sipping coffee, it's time to bring her fully to life with a voice that's natural, emotional, and totally on brand. But before that, we need to make sure that our scenes are joined together cleanly. If this part isn't smooth, no amount of voice editing will make it look natural. We'll be using CapCut for this step. It's free, super easy to use, and is perfect for putting these clips together. Once you're in CapCut, import your video clips. You can just drag and drop them here. Place both clips back to back on the timeline. We want these to flow like one continuous motion. So line them up right next to each other. No fade, no transition. If you use the final frame trick earlier, this is where you'll see it pay off. No awkward face changes, no glitches, just a seamless cut. You can now export and download your seamless video. We'll use this exact version in the next step. Now that the visuals are seamless, it's time for the real transformation. Because even a perfect looking avatar falls flat without a voice that feels alive. Let me show you how to get that right. We're going to do that by giving our avatar a voice. And for this, we'll be using 11 labs. 
If you want your avatar to actually connect with people, the voice has to feel human, with tone, emotion, and expression. If you can't record your own voice, this is exactly what Eleven Labs helps us do. Head over to Eleven Labs. You can use a free account, and even with the free voices, the quality is next level. Click on Voices, then Best Voices for Eleven V3. You'll see a bunch of voices here, don't just pick one randomly. Think about your brand. How do you want your avatar to sound? Pick a voice that actually fits the feeling of your message. Let's listen to this one. Oh, come on. You think I don't see what's happening here? Please. I'll go with this one. Go to text to speech and paste your script into the editor. This is the line I'll be using for the clip. You can click here to enable the Enhance Alpha model for emotional delivery. This is where most people miss out. It adds emotion like excitement, seriousness, even laughter or surprise. Click Generate. It'll give you two takes. Listen to both. One will usually feel more alive than the other. Then choose your favorite version. When it feels right, download it. We'll match it to the video next. We've got the voice and we've got the movement, but how do you make it all come together so that it looks like she's really speaking? This is the step most people skip or rush through, but if your timing's even a little off, it can ruin the whole effect. Let me show you how to get it just right. Go to the Video tab section in Open Art and click on Audio. This is where we'll upload the final animation video and the voiceover we created in Eleven Labs. Upload the final joined video. This should be the joined version from earlier. No voice yet, just movement. Upload the matching voiceover. And here's the voice. Open Art will try to match the clip length, but make sure you trim it accordingly. Now, hit Create, and the tool will automatically match the audio with the avatar's mouth and movements. And just like that, you've got a fully animated, talking AI avatar that's ready to represent your brand, show up in your content, and connect with your audience. Hey, still with me? I can walk, talk, and even make my way over for a coffee, just from one image and a few prompts. Let me show you. And now you've got everything you need to do the same. If you found value in this video, please remember to like, share and subscribe.